Welcome back to Crypto Eddie. In this video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing four layer ones. So quite an old established blockchain, Phantom, but which has quite quite a big surprise in store for a lot of Phantom holders. Did you know that they were bringing out a new blockchain, Sonic, and that will replace your Phantom virtual machine? I'm also going to review Say, which is a rel relatively new blockchain. And then I'll also review Flare, another layer one, which has Oracle and interoperability qualities and quite an established proof of work blockchain in Kadena. OK, so I'll be reviewing those blockchains and also I'll be having a look at the AI project render. OK, before I go into those projects, let me just recap on Big Mike, which was my call in my VIP Telegram chat two days ago, which has now doubled in value in just two days. So it went up from about 2.2 million market cap. It was over 5 million today, but it's now retraced to about 4.4. I wouldn't be surprised if this particular token went up a few million more by tomorrow and if, if it hit 10 million within a few more days. OK, so Big Mike is one that you should have on your radar. It's certainly one that Barack Obama has on his radar. So without further ado, let's just quick have a review of Big Mike. So this is the website. As you can see, Barack Obama there pointing at his uh, wife, other half, his other half pointing at a big bulge there. And that's what Big Mike is all about. That, in fact, you know, the name Michelle um, is one that, Barack confuses quite often with Michael. So, you know, I've seen him on many videos going, and I was saying the other day to Mike, Michael, I mean, uh, Michelle, you know, so he confuses the name Michelle with Michael quite often when he's just, you know, walking and talking with reporters and so forth. All these guys are having a laugh because they all know what's going on. They're in the know. OK, if you get on the website, you can see here there's a video. You should come onto the website, have a look at this video. It gives you a bit more information about this story and then it tells you their mission here. OK, our mission is to make money, guys. Yeah, we don't really care about the politics, but it's interesting because the politics give us a narrative. And, you know, the narrative is the election and the election now is obsessed with crypto and crypto also seems to be obsessed with the election. Now, we all thought that it would have it would be Biden who would be standing for president against Trump. But it looks, especially after that one to one they had, you know, that debate, it looked like uh, Biden didn't know what he was talking about half the time. And, you know, I, I watch I don't really care about the politics of the US that much, but it just looked like Trump made a fool out of him. And a lot of people are saying now that Joe Biden has to be replaced and probably to enable Barack Obama to keep running the country, which he probably has been doing behind the scenes while Biden's been president, they could just elect um, Michelle Obama and that will solve the problem for the Democrats and the deep state. Because I don't think they want to have Trump running the country again. They don't, they don't think it's in their interest because I, I think that Trump is a president that you can't control and most presidents are tightly controlled. The guy they've got there now, he just looks like a robot to me, you know. Looks like someone plugged him in and then they flick a switch and he starts talking like one of them dolls, you know. Anyway, let's just move on from Big Mike. Um, if you haven't got into Big Mike yet, guys, you know, it could be a good time. Like I said, it's, it's doubled in value in the last two days. I wouldn't be surprised if this one did 100x, okay? Um, 100x would take it to, what, 400 million? And I think you could easily get a 250x on this one. I don't think it would have a problem going to about a billion because the MAGA token at the moment is about 300 and, I don't know, 350 million, but it was actually over 700 million. That's not far off a billion. And Dog With Hat, Dog With Hat was 4.5 billion. So I don't see why Big Mike can't go to 1 billion with a US election coming up in the fall. OK, let's move on to the layer ones that I want to feature today. OK, so the first layer one I'm looking at is Phantom. This was listed on CoinGecko in October 2018. So it's actually about six years old. It's one of the older blockchains. 
okay it's got a market cap of 1.5 billion now so this has retraced significantly from its all-time high of 8 billion and the dilution on it is 88 percent so this would this, this looks like a good buy to me because of the dilution but the problem is they're bringing out a new blockchain now called phantom sonic and it looks like the phantom sonic token will replace the actual phantom token now even though it's going to be a one-to-one -one swap with the phantom token and the sonic token obviously they're gonna they're gonna mint more tokens so you might have a one-to-one -one with the sonic token but i think the supply will be higher you're not going to have 88 percent dilution like you've got now probably the dilution will be quite low because the Sonic blockchain is a new layer one and it will ultimately replace the, the Phantom blockchain. Okay, let me give you a description of Phantom just to put it in its context. So it's an early post Ethereum blockchain that first attempted to tackle the common problems such as transaction speeds and high costs that emerged after the launch of Ethereum. It's designed to support dApps and DeFi applications and became popular because it was fast, scalable and secure alternative for developers and users in the 2020 bull run who wanted to use DeFi applications. The rollout of Sonic, however, an upgrade to Phantom Virtual Machine is designed to increase scalability and efficiency of transactions. It's intended to deliver over 2,000 transactions per second, near instantaneous finality, and a significant reduction in storage demand. So what do I see as the positives of the Phantom Bot blockchain? Or should I say the Phantom Sonic blockchain as it will become? Well, it's EVM compatible. It enables interoperability and F-based applications. It supports DeFi features such as minting, lending, borrowing, and trading. And that won't change when they actually upgrade to Sonic. Okay. Now the Phonic, the, sorry, the Phantom, Phantom Sonic upgrade will drastically improve the network speed and transaction costs. Okay. Negatives and concerns about Phantom Sonic. We should call it now, I suppose. Strong competition from other fast networks such as Solana and Avalanche. Adoption issues. So yeah, that's a big deal, isn't it? I mean, would you bother using Phantom when you can use Solana or Avalanche or any of the other new layer ones? Phantom looks like it's a bit of an outdated blockchain now, and that's why they're actually bringing out this new blockchain, Sonic. So possibly Sonic will be seen as a completely new blockchain, but it's actually the Phantom Virtual Machine that's being upgraded, really, because it's not completely new. They'll be building on old Phantom technology to bring out this new Sonic blockchain. OK, so negatives and concerns, OK? Uh, apart from Solana, Avalanche and other L1s that are competition, there's adoption issues, questions surrounding the slow ecosystem growth, especially in DeFi. Also, too reliant on CEO Andre Cronjet for marketing. Now, this is a criticism that is like a leftover from the last bull run. So Andre Cronjet, he kind of went missing a few times in the 2020 bull run, and it had quite a drastic effect negatively on the market cap of, of Phantom. I remember holding some Phantom, and when Andre did, did, did his disappearing act, Everyone thought that, you know, everything with Phantom was was go, going down the drain because, you know, their leader had left 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 the project. It That's like Charles Hoskinson leaving Cardano or Vitalik leaving Ethereum or Gavin Wood leaving Polkadot. Oh, hang on. Sorry. That last one, that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> OK, so, yeah, I mean, Andre Cronje, you know, leaving the project in the last bull run, it did cause the market cap to fall quite significantly. And people were questioning, like, should a blockchain be so dependent on a key per key person in, in the actual blockchain itself? And probably the answer is yes. If, if a really big name disappears, then it can be bad for the reputation of the blockchain. Why is that person leaving? You know, what's the problems in, in inside? It's like it's like with the football team, you know, if you get like the main star in the team or the manager leaving, people start worrying and there's instability in the club then, you know. 
Okay, so again here I say switch to Sonic concerns. The Sonic token launch will give too many tokens to uh, VCs and additional tokens will flood the supply. And this will just be bad for Phantom overall for the market cap, even if it gets a Coinbase listing. So that's another concern. It doesn't have the Coinbase listing yet. Maybe when they get uh, Sonic going, they'll probably get then the Coinbase listing. But I just think if you're holding Phantom, it's probably a good time to get rid of it because I think this uh, rolling out of the Phantom Sonic blockchain will have a negative effect on the market cap that you know, you're looking at giving you X multipliers in the future. Okay, the markets where it's available, pretty good. Binance, Kraken, OKX, so three tier ones. They just don't have the Coinbase one. And X multipliers, how many Xs can you get out of this project? Well, you know, it's all time high was 8 billion. It's now 1.5 billion. Will it get back to 8 billion? I don't know, because there's a lot of new layer ones coming out, you know, so if it did get back to its all time high, that would be good, but it could potentially do better because obviously they've got a lot of experience in the L1 space. Even if they're rolling out a new blockchain, I would think it's going to be fairly seamless. They're going to do everything to make sure they keep their market uh, position intact. I think it can do as much as an eight to 10 X. So I'm thinking something between 12 and 15 billion. However, you might get a lot of dilution on that because we don't know what the tokenomics will be for the Phantom Sonic Network. And the, the project is going to actually bring out a new token. So Sonic will be a new token and you'll be able to swap it one to one with the Phantom token. I don't I wouldn't wait. I would sell my Phantom tokens now if I'm if, if you're holding them, I'd get rid of, the, rid of them now and then see what happens when the Sonic blockchain rolls out if you haven't found something else in the meantime. Okay, so let's just have a look at the price action of Phantom. So if we look at the maximum um, history of Phantom price, we've got it on the market cap here. You can see that it went just over 8 billion, okay? And if you'd have bought it in the bear run, you could have got it for about half a billion, okay? You'd be a 3X up now. I'll put it on the one year chart. So you can see here, if you bought it in October, you know, three weeks into October, you got it for about half a billion, you'd be 3X up now, but it did actually go up to 3.1 billion. So you're getting it now at less than half the price that it was in March, 2021. And the price you're getting it for now is about the value that you would have picked it up for at the beginning of, of March, so March, April, May, June, that's about four months ago. You gotta go back about four months to get this token for this price. So if you are a fan of Phantom, this is maybe a good time to buy it. Personally, I'm not a fan of Phantom. I don't really think it's worth picking up now because of the launch of the new layer one, Sonic. And I think that they will probably mint far more tokens than you would like them to if you're holding Phantom. If you look at the Phantom website, you know, what's disturbing for me is that even though this news has been out for months, they haven't put anything on their website to tell people about this. Okay, so it, this is all the same stuff that you can see on this website if you went back a year, two years ago. You know, just, you know, low cost, fast speed, decentralized, staking rewards. You know, they don't say anything about Sonic on here whatsoever, yeah? Okay, so that's uh, that, that's Phantom. If you look here on Binance, on Binance Square, it talks about Phantom Foundation announces plans for new blockchain network Sonic. Okay, this is by Binance News on May the 18th. So this is about, what, six weeks ago? So according to BlockBeats, the Phantom Foundation revealed the plan details for its new blockchain network, Sonic Network. It will be a brand new layer one, will connect to Ethereum through a native cross-chain bridge. Okay, and based on the results of governance voting, existing Phantom token holders will be able to migrate one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, if you come down here, it says that uh, it should be noted that Phantom Sonic 
is the new generation of the Phantom Network, replacing the previous Phantom Opera, which can be understood as Phantom 2. Phantom Opera includes a new client, Validata N, Virtual Machine, Carmen Database, etc., which will significantly improve the execution efficiency of the original Phantom. Okay, guys, so you make your own mind up. Do you think it's still worth keeping Phantom? If you do, if you don't, leave me a comment below. If you're getting any value from this video, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, ping the bell for all notifications so that you won't know when I'm uploading new content that may be time sensitive. So obviously, if you were watching my video yesterday on Big Mike and you decided to buy Big Mike, you would have probably nearly doubled your money by now. Okay, so you can also join my VIP Telegram chat. So I do give out early calls there on micro caps, and sometimes you can 20, 30x, 500x your money. Okay, so details at the top of the description below. The next layer one I want to talk about is CE, or is it SEI? S-E-I. CE? or say, I'm gonna call it say, sounds easier, yeah. Anyway, this was listed on CoinGecko in August, 2023. Its market cap is currently around 1 billion and it's only 31% diluted. So you will lose some of your profit, profits here to dilution when they release more tokens. Now, say has tried to position itself as the blockchain of financial institutions, okay? It's optimized for the exchange of dig digital assets in Web3. It is fully open source. It has fast finality and a smooth user experience. Say aims to address scalability and user experience issues, helping Web3 apps, including gaming, NFTs, and DeFi applications to reach mainstream adoption. Now, the main positives are that it can handle up to 20,000 orders per second, reducing transaction costs. It's much faster than other networks and it claims to be 10 times faster than Solana. Okay, it's very secure due to its advanced consensus algorithms and security protocols. The negatives, however, is that 20% of the tokens have been given to the team. So obviously you're gonna have quite high dilution in this project because the team get their tokens for nothing. And early investors also who will have quite a few tokens to release still will get them at very low prices. So they'll be making big profits when you're paying a much higher price for the tokens. Um, adoption also of say, seems like it will be slower than other established cryptos because it's the old adage, you know, the one who gets their foot in the door first, the first movers, they tend to be harder to knock off their purchase. So will say be able to get mainstream adoption, mass adoption that it needs to be successful. So it is very high risk because of the dilution and also because it's an unproven blockchain with many competitors. So um, against that, we can say at least it's available on all tier one marketplaces, the centralized exchanges of Binance, Coinbase, Kraken and OKX. So what about X multipliers? Well. I think this actually has more chance of doing more X's than Phantom. So we've looked at Phantom, now we're looking at say, so all time high was about 2.6 billion. It's now about 1 billion. So I think possible 10 to 12 X for this project, but you could get quite strong dilution. Let's say you do a 20 X on this. I think you'll only do a 10 X because of the dilution, okay. Let's just have a look at the chart. So we can see here now that Say is trading at around 34 cents. It's just over a billion market cap. As you can see there, only 31% diluted. You could have picked it up for about 180,000, sorry, $180 million in October, 2023. So you would have already done something like a five, to five and a half X up to now. Okay, but had you sold it at the top there, you could have sold it when the market cap was 2.7 billion. You would have had something like a 15 X from October. Now, can you do that from here now? I don't think so, not with the dilution. I think you're a bit late now. However, if you draw a line across here, you can see that the price that you're getting it for now is about the same price as you would have paid for it 
on December the 29th, okay, about seven months ago. So if you are interested in the Say um, blockchain and buying this project, then you are getting a discount that you uh, could have got about seven months ago. But uh, obviously that upside there you've missed out on. It's still quite a high market cap compared to what it was, you know, back in October 2023. Personally, I don't think I'd buy this because there's too much dilution to come. OK, quick look at the website there. You can see it's quite a nice looking website. A new frontier for financial institutions. As I mentioned earlier, they're positioning themselves as a blockchain for financial institutions, offering a platform that combines unparalleled speed with robust security where cutting edge technology meets institutional needs for transparency, efficiency and security. Institutions want transparency, <laughs> really. <laughs> Sui versus other chains, the competitive edge. OK, the competitive edge, say, stands up tall among competitors with its unmatched speed, scalable architecture, user centric design. See how say compares with other leading blockchains and understand why it's the best choice for your project. OK, so it's comparing itself to Ethereum, to Rollups and to Solana, and it's claiming that it's faster. OK, you can see here transactions, 15 transactions per second for Ethereum, for Rollups, 50, for Solana, 10,000 and Sei, 12,500. OK, and then it says here that these are uh, Sei's uh, esteemed backers. OK, it looks like they've got about 20 backers here, but if you look closely, there's only five names there. Coinbase, Multicoin, Jump, Delphi Digital, HRT, and then you're back to Coinbase. OK, so it, a bit misleading there, but yeah, whatever. What can institutions do on Say? They can leverage its fast, scalable blockchain to build or engage with enterprise grade applications Focusing on trading, asset management, lending, and more. Say's robust platform supports a variety of institutional activities, offering an efficient to co environment for financial innovation. Okay, whether they'll make it or not is open to debate. Personally, I wouldn't buy it because the dilution, I think, will be too much. Um, whether, you know, if I had a choice between buying Phantom and Say, I think I would buy neither. The next project I want to talk about, guys, is Render. So Render was listed on CoinGecko in June 2020. So it's much older project than a lot of people think. OK, Render is not actually a layer one. It's built on Ethereum. OK, it's got got a market cap currently of 2.9 billion and its dilution is about three quarters, 73 percent. So there's possibly a little bit of dilution in this project over this bull run. OK. I describe it as a decentralized platform that allows people to monetize their unused GPU resources by performing rendering tasks. It creates a global network where users can share their GPU power for tasks such as 3D rendering, machine learning and complex calculations. So this is an AI project, guys. In return, earn, users earn the render token Render Network aims to provide a fast, effective and scalable solution for creators who are in need of significant computing power, which is in high demand. OK, the positives of Render are that it, it utilizes idle GPU resources, which can significantly reduce the costs. It also supports independent creators, making computational power more accessible for all. The platform also offers digital rights management through blockchain technology to protect intellectual property of creators. The negatives, however, are that combining blockchain and AI presents new challenges. AI privacy requirements will conflict or may conflict with the transparency of blockchain networks. OK, there's also quite a bit of competition for render in the form of uh, Aether. OK, but Aether's got very few uh, tokens released. And then there's IONet, again, the same problem. They've got very low dilution and Golem network. And the markets of Render, you know, they're second to none. It's got Binance listing, Coinbase, Kraken, OKX. You know, this one looks like a winner, guys, to me. 
Um, all time high is 5 billion. It's currently at 2.9 billion. Estimated multiplier as well. I think this can go any, anywhere between 35 and 55 billion. That's about a 12 to 18x. You might get a little bit of dilution, but I don't think too much. I think this is a really good buy. Out of the three that I've covered so far, Phantom Say, I think Render is the best project to buy into now. Let's just have a look at, a ch at the chart and see how much it's retraced recently. Okay, so this is the all time chart for Render. And you can see here, if you go back to the 2021 bull run, the market cap only went to 1.17 billion. And we're already at 5 billion. So this project is just really starting off. It's just getting its, you know, finding its highest highs and I think it's going to surpass this 5 billion quite soon. At the moment, at 2.8 billion, it's doing very well. But let's just look at the one year chart. So we can see here that a good time to pick it up would have been September 2023. You could have got it for about half a billion and you've done about a 5x up to now. But you can see that this project actually did hit 5 billion. So at the moment, at 2.8 8 billion, okay? Now, if you'd have got it down here at about half a billion, you could have done a 10X up to March the 18th, okay? But we've got this huge retracement now, and you're getting it at the same price as you would have got it in, say, uh, about March the 5th, okay? So you're getting it at quite a premium now if you want to get into render. I think it's a good time to buy it because if we put it on price, you can see that the price had actually gone up to about $13 and now it's back to $7.38. Whether or not it pulls back any further, I'm not sure, but I do think it's a good time to DCA in now if you're keen on the render project as I am. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the website. So you can see that it's a very nice website advancing the next generation of rendering and AI technology. So we are a not-for-profit dedicated to maintaining the core render network protocol and growing its community. So you can see here some of the Im images that render can produce. So you can see that this is really a top-notch project. Also launching other uh, compute clients. So in 2023, the community voted in three compute clients to expand the core direction of the network to include GPU compute compute clients. So they voted for io.net, Beam, and FedML. Okay, so they're actually all being impl implemented into the render network. Okay, so that is the render website. If you want to have a look at the team, you can. You see here there's five individuals. A bit strange that because this guy, Tristan Relly, <laughs> He looks like this guy, doesn't he? They look like the same guy. <laughs> okay, here we got Trevor Harris Jones. Okay, Foundation's Board of Directors. This guy's Head of Operations. Looks like they've got the same shirt on as well, yeah? And then we got here Ryan Shear, Advisor, and Andrew Hyde, Head of Communications. It looks like they've got the same jacket on as well, yeah? <laughs> okay, um, disappointing the team page because there's nothing to click on here. What have I got to do? Copy the name and go to Google and start finding out about them? Bit of a joke, guys. You know, is that it? Is that the best you can do on the team? That's it? Terrible, you know. Anyway, you know, I've got no doubts about it that it's a legit project, but I just think that they should give you more information about the team. I think this is pathetic, okay? But that won't stop me buying the project. Okay, let's move on, guys. Right, guys, the next project I want to talk about is Flare which is another layer one. This was listed on CoinGecko in January 2023. It's got a market cap of about 1 billion and its dilution is about two fifths, okay? Or just under half, I don't know, 42%. So it's still got quite a lot of its tokens to come out, but I think they'll be quite slow. And I don't think you'll be that badly affected by d dilution on this project. And it does have a lot of promise. Just let me read the description to you. So. Flare is a layer one blockchain that is referred to as the blockchain for data. 
Its architecture combines the Ethereum virtual machine, compatible smart contracts, Avalanche consensus and the XRP settlement layer. So what they've done is they've brought in different elements of other blockchains. They're looking for, okay, what's the best thing in this blockchain and in these other blockchains? And they bring them all together to make a more superior blockchain. Okay, one of their core products is their data oracles, okay? These require validators on the Flare network, and one of these is actually Google Cloud, to provide data in order for them to receive their validator rewards, okay? Another string to the bow of the Flare Layer 1 is that it has this thing called the F Asset Protocol. Now, this allows non-smart contract tokens such as Bitcoin, Dodge, and XRP, which is estimated to be around 65 to 70% of total blockchain assets, to be used trustlessly with smart contracts on Flare. So they're bringing smart contract function functionality to other non-smart contract tokens like Bitcoin, Dodge, and XRP, okay? Uh, this can then be put to work earning yield or rewards in decentralized applications on the Flare network. Once F, F assets are on Flare, they can also be bridged to other networks using a protocol called Layer Cake on Flare. Okay, this is a decentralized, insured, in transit, cross chain bridging protocol that offers increased security, speed, scalability when bridging between different networks. So what are the positives of Flare? Well, Flare enhances the utility of XRP, Bitcoin, and Dodge, giving them smart contract functionality, and also brings new F assets and access to DeFi yields. Okay, another positive of, of the Flare Layer 1 network is that its key narratives are not just Layer 1, but also data oracles combined with interoperability. So it should do quite well in this bull run because it actually overlaps quite a few strong narratives. Okay, finally, Flare also has an innovative consensus mechanism that provides strong network security. Negatives, concerns? Well, the main concern of Flare is that the project objectives are very ambitious and highly technical. So there's some doubt whether they can actually achieve those objectives. Only time will tell. Okay, markets, well, they're available on Kraken, OKX, and Coinbase. And if they get a Binance listing, I think that will help this project to take off even further. X multipliers, well, there's really, you know, not much of an all-time high on Flare um, because it's quite a young project. So I'm estimating between 10 billion to maybe 20 billion altogether. Okay, looking at the chart of Flare now, we can see that this project on the maximum time um, limit actually came onto CoinGecko around about the 10th of January, 2023. Best time to buy it would have been October the 19th when it was about 232 million. Okay, so it did actually go up to 1.75 billion there. So you could have had something like a six to seven X there. And now it's retraced and you can pick it up at the price you could have got it for somewhere, you know, a week into February. So it has retraced quite a bit, but it does seem to be quite a popular token at the moment because it's quite new and because it promises to fulfill so many functions. Now, I'm not sure whether it can deliver, but it does look like quite a promising project. Now, if you want to buy this now, I mean, how many X's did I say? Um, yeah, it's possible because it's actually straddling so many other blockchains and assets in crypto. You know, we're talking about Dodge, we're talking about XRP and Bitcoin. So if it can harness those cryptos and it can turn them into something of value, I could see this going up to 50 billion, you know, no problem, because look at the value of Bitcoin, look at the value of Dodge, look at the value of XRP. If Flare can somehow make itself into some kind of utility that will enhance the value of 
those particular assets, I'm sure that the flare price itself will just explode. So I don't know, conservatively, I would say if it doesn't do very well, maybe a 10x. But if it does, you know, if it does well, maybe a 20x. If it does amazing, I think we could be looking at something like a 50 to 60x with flare network. Who knows? It could even do 100x. Uh, I, I don't know if you agree with me, you know, let me know in the comments below how high you think Flare can go and any of the other tokens that I've spoken about today. You know, tell me what you think they can do in terms of X multiplier potential. OK, so that's Flare and this is their website. You can see here I'm looking at the team. It looks quite impressive. So we've got a lot of people here on their team. Again, you know, some of these websites for blockchain are not that good because they put all these people who are supposed to be, you know, people who are very proficient experts at blockchain, and yet they don't provide any links to them. So you've got to copy the name and then you've got to go on Google and you've got to go searching around for them. You know, I'm sorry, Flair, but this is crap. You know, sort it out. I mean, all you've got to do is put a few links on there. OK, so that's Flair. And if we look at the rest of the website, you know, it's it's quite interesting, this website. It's not as dry as the other layer ones, you know, connect everything. That's what Flare's about. Flare's a blockchain for data, providing developers with secure, decentralized access to high integrity data from other chains and the Internet. So that's what it's all about, about bringing data together. What I do like about this website, though, is that, you know, these um, links here at the top, they're fairly comprehensive. Look, introduction, Flare 01, Flare Drops. So they've, had, they've had a lot of airdrops and they've been quite successful and they've managed to get a lot of centralized exchanges to participate with their Flare Drops. So the airdrops of Flare have been quite successful up to now. Okay, so if you go to build, obviously this is for developers. You can see here you've got all the information at hand and for use, how-to how guides, Flare ecosystem, utilities, okay, here, operate and connect. So when you go to connect here, you can follow them on all their socials. And you can see here information, upcoming events. There's the Flare team, which I just made a complaint about, that they have no links, okay. But, you know, on the whole, it's a nice website. Uh, I think this one and the Say one are both very nice websites. And I think developers, people who want to use these layer ones, they'll find it very easy to navigate the websites and to get going. So that's that's a positive thing. Yeah. Right, guys, this brings me to my last layer one project that I want to talk about, which is Kadena. This listed on CoinGecko in January 2020. It's got a market cap of about 160 million and its dilution is currently 28 percent, but it won't suffer much dilution in this bull run because it has something like a 100 year release schedule for its tokens. So you won't get more than 5% dilution on Kadena through this bull run. OK, so Kadena is a proof of work blockchain. It's got a unique chain web design. This is very scalable, decentralized and secure. This includes also a protocol called Kuro, which is a layer two private blockchain for businesses and use and uses the packed language. Now, this is a human readable smart contract language with built in error checking. Now, Kadena is not only highly scalable, but it's also highly energy efficient because it's a proof of work blockchain that supports smart contracts for both regular users and businesses, making it ideal for complex applications in decentralized finance and enterprise solutions. Now, what are the positives of Kadena? Well, first of all, the chain web architecture of multiple chains that are parallel to each other. OK, this enables high scalability, making it able to handle up to 480,000, nearly half a million transactions per second. It's also got a very strong team and advisors. So they have Stuart Popejoy, who is the CEO, he is a developer from JP Morgan's original uh, blockchain. They've also got ex-SEC um, individual Will Martino and Stuart Haber is also working for Kadena as an advisor. Now, he is the most cited author 
in the Bitcoin white paper. So this adds a lot of credibility to the team of Kadena. Now, despite being a proof of work blockchain, Kadena also maintains the same energy consumption level as it scales, making it more energy efficient compared to other blockchains. Okay, the negatives of Kadena is that it does face a lot of competition from other scalable blockchains such as ETH2 and Solana. However, it does, it, it's not really the same as those blockchains because they're proof of um, stake, whereas Kadena is proof of work. And okay, while Kadena's technology is impressive, its ecosystem is still growing and wide, widespread adoption by developers and enterprises is not guaranteed. So obviously, Kadena suffers the same as many other layer ones. It needs to get the adoption, okay? And currently, it seems to lack strong marketing, though development is continuous. The markets where it's available, Kadena, are Binance, OKX. Um, so it's not on really that many uh, tier one exchanges that it would like to be. Obviously, a Kraken and a Coinbase listing would really... I think, help Kadena with its future adoption. And X multipliers, well, at the moment, it's only 160 million market cap. So if it went to 1.6 billion, obviously that would be a 10X, and that's not very much. 16 billion would take it to 100X. So I think it's possible for it to do 100X. And it only has to go to 3.9 billion, which is its all-time high, which would be a 25x. So I think Kadena has potentially more upside than any other blockchain that we've looked at today. Now, if we look at the website of Kadena, actually they've just revamped the website. So talking about marketing, they are making an effort to improve their projection to businesses and to the public. So, you know, about Kadena, meet the humans working on blockchain's human layer, our company, so, you know, they, they, they sum it up here themselves. Kadena is the industry's only truly scalable layer one proof of work blockchain. More to the point, it's the only blockchain scalable enough to fully replace the global financial system and other legacy centralized systems, banks, <laughs> without compromising on speed or security. With Chainweb, Kadena's multi-braided infinitely scalable blockchain technology and packed our industry leading smart contract language Kadena transcends the limits of conventional layer one and layer two blockchains enabling builders to create meaningful solutions to real world problems in other words Kadena is operating on a whole other layer layer h the human layer and they do claim that packed is a human readable language now i've spoke to a few coders i'm not a coder myself and they said yeah packed is a really easy language to understand and follow and build on. Okay, these are the founders of Kadena, founded by Stuart Popejoy and William Martino prior to launching Kadena. Stuart led JP Morgan's emerging blockchain group after recruiting Will from his role as the tech lead for the SEC's cryptocurrency steering committee. The two built JP Morgan's first blockchain, now known as JPM Coin. They left JP Morgan in 2016 to launch Kadena and begin work on what would become Chainweb and Pact. And they're doing a great job. Our advisors, so I'm not going to go into all of them, but you can see here Stuart Haber is an advisor and he's the most cited author from the original Bitcoin white paper. Okay, so that's uh, Kadena. You can come on the website, have a look at the ecosystem yourself. Just have a look at the chart. So... You can see here on the maximum that Kadena did actually reach nearly $25 in 2021. And it had a market cap of just under $4 billion. So if I put it on the one year chart now, you can see that this is just, you know, if you compare this, look, I mean, just look at how insignificant this looks here compared to this big run up here. And you can see that this was quite sudden. September the 28th, it was only 242 million market cap. And it then did about, what's that? About a 16x, okay? 
and that 16x came by October. Yeah, it came in just over a month, you know, so the fact that Kadena is quite a low price now, I wouldn't worry about because we saw how this project can be hyped. And, you know, when people are jumping from one project to another, you know, invariably this does happen during a bull run when, you know, market caps just go through the roof and you do see these huge vertical run ups. So this is nothing here, but you can see here on the one year chart that if you look at Kadena now, uh, 160 million around about, okay, you'd have to go back to about November the 18th, about eight months ago to get it for this price. I mean, it did actually go up to about, what's that on price there? So it went up to about a price of $1.87. It's now 57 cents. You're getting this for absolute bear run price, guys. So this is an amazing project to get in. I think this has the most upside potential and is the safest project out of the five projects that I've actually featured today. I think if you're looking for just a 10 to 15x, you'd easily get it from Kadena, maybe from Render. I'm not sure about the other ones because two of them are really new projects and Phantom, I think with it changing to Sonic, I'm not sure what's gonna happen there, but for me, Kadena is the clear winner. I think this is an easy 20 to 30x, maybe 50 or 100x. Okay, guys, that's about all I've got for you in this video. Do give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ping the bell for all notifications so that you know when I'm uploading a new video because it could be time sensitive, just like my video was the other day when I called Big Mike and we doubled our money in two days. Okay, guys, time for me to have a cup of tea. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourselves. Until my next video, cheers.